If a furnace is not heating, or it continually starts then stops, the pressure switch could be malfunctioning. As part of the furnace's ignition system, the pressure switch will close once the draft inducer fan motor reaches its maximum speed. This is a safety precaution to ensure that gas will not enter the furnace unless the toxic fumes within the burner assembly can be exhausted. If the draft inducer fan motor does not turn on or runs too slow, the pressure switch will not close, stalling the ignition sequence. A faulty pressure switch may be unable to close, preventing the ignition sequence from continuing. You can determine if the pressure switch is malfunctioning by using a multimeter to test the installed component for electrical continuity while the draft inducer fan motor is running. Before you attempt to access the switch, turn off the power to the furnace. Pressure switches are normally located in the combustion chamber close to the draft inducer fan motor. To reach it, you will need to uninstall the upper access panel. Disconnect the pressure switch wires. Then restore power to the furnace and avoid touching any electrical components with your hands. Set the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. With the draft inducer fan motor running, contact the meter leads to the pressure switch's terminals. The meter display should indicate close to zero ohms of resistance if the switch has electrical continuity and is functional. However, if the meter display doesn't change, you'll know the pressure switch has no electrical continuity and the component will need to be replaced.